wake of the killing of George Floyd, there have been calls throughout the nation to reform police. Well, today on Beacon Hill, state lawmakers are looking at the next steps for a better trained, more accountable force. WBZ Cheryl Fiadaka has more on those efforts. And it begins the long, necessary work of shifting power back to the community. The Senate taking up a wide-ranging police reform bill that some chiefs say goes too far and will make an officer's job even more difficult. A little bit concerned about the process. We want to make sure there's fair representation for the, the officers on the ground that are out there every day doing these, these hard things. The Senate bill modifies Governor Baker's proposed legislation that called for an independent oversight board to investigate police, certification of police officers, guidelines on the use of force, and a ban on chokeholds, as well as a duty to intervene. Well, this bill is really about three things. Number one, about reducing the risk of a tragic use of force incident in Massachusetts. And there's two parts of what we're doing there is we're strengthening oversight of the policing profession by creating an oversight board, as 46 other states have. Uh, and we've just never done it in Massachusetts. Um, and we're also making clear some clear adjustments in when force use is appropriate. The bill would also do away with qualified immunity for police officers, making them personally liable for violations of civil rights. People think that we have absolute immunity. That is not the case. Qualified immunity has to meet certain standards. When you step outside of that, when you do something that is egregiously wrong, that doesn't fit any training standard, uh, that, that you basically you go rogue, you're not covered. The legislation also calls for reallocation of funds and allows school districts to opt out of having a police officer on school grounds. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl, thank you.